Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Doc's Holiday Schlock, where it's a review of the movie Alien Abduction, Incident in Lake County. Well, the McPherson family are getting ready to enjoy Thanksgiving. When, wouldn't you know it, aliens decide to invade, and the whole thing is pretty much done through found footage. So, three of the family members, named Tommy, Kurt, and Brian, go to try to figure out what's going on. They capture footage of aliens, and from there, everything just kind of goes downhill. Of course, they try to show the footage to the other family members, tell them that they discovered that there's aliens around, they don't believe them, and of course, the big white light, weird things start happening, um... <laughs> Basically what you would expect to see in a found footage movie about aliens around Thanksgiving. Uh, the family is tranced. They're put in all kinds of weird situations. They have burn marks put on them and all kinds of things. And eventually at one point the family is able to actually go back inside of their own house. And there are continuous gunshot sounds in the movie too. So yeah, I can't forget that part. The family winds up back inside of the house, and the only one who's, who's able to finish the tape is Tommy. And he's kind of wondering if he ever will be a pinball wizard, because that boy could sure play a mean pinball. How many of you out there are going to get that joke? <laughs> None of you? That's okay. Uh, so the footage is cut off, and it comes back on with Tommy wondering if he's going to make it to the next day. And he's going through the house, checking everything out, and he comes to face, face to face with one of the aliens. The alien puts him in sort of a trance-like state. And... And the tape stops. And it's not known what happened to the family at all. So... Why did this movie suck? Well, I kind of have to call this one sort of the, um, a War of the Worlds scare situation, I guess you could say. Uh, when the movie first premiered on UPN, you know, UPN, the, the, the channel that gave us such hit shows like Homeboys from Outer Space and The Mullets. Uh, a lot of people thought that what they were watching was legit. So it caused a lot of controversy and everything like that. And, well, of course, just like War of the Worlds, everybody had to be told what they saw was completely fake. And I think if you put the terms found footage and TV movie together, nine times out of ten, it's not going to work. Especially when you have some times where you're sitting there, you're watching the movie, you're really getting into it, and it cuts away on occasion to people who talk about aliens and UFOs and all that, all that other nonsense. Um, this just was not too good. Uh, <laughs> and I'm, I'm really not much of a found footage fan. In fact, um, one of the... One movie I did review earlier... Uh, I think it was a couple of months ago. I think it was called The Bucks County Massacre. And one of its biggest flaws to me was not just the fact of the big reveal of what the creature was that was out there, which really made me go, seriously? It was the fact that, you know, you, you kind of get into it a little bit. And then it cuts away to people being talked to about the whole situation, about, you know, what happened to their friends and their family members and everything like that. And and uh, in, a, in all honesty, I think it's about time they stop with the found footage stuff because cause they always try and put at the front of a lot of these movies, they say, what you're about to see was recorded on such such day at such such year. What you're about to see is 100% true. And we all know it's all fake. Because, number one, nobody would actually release actual found footage of people getting seriously injured or worse. So, yeah, of course, then again... 
the Blair Witch Project made people believe that what they were watching was 100% true, and then when it all proved out to be a hoax, then they tried it with paranormal activity, <laughs> and it, yeah, so found footage, there's not too many good movies out there like them, but, but there you guys have it, a review of Alien Abduction Incident in Lake County. And if you've seen this one, love to hear from you guys in the comments below about what you thought about it, whether you agree or disagree. And of course, if you like my videos, always feel free to subscribe. If you got a horror, sci-fi horror, comedy horror, or fantasy horror movie that you found to be truly dull, send it my way and I will get on it ASAP. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching. And until next time, as always, stay strong and rock on. And as always... When you wish upon a star, something, 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 something. <laughs>